Hi, I'm Joe Heath, and I'm a projectionist. One of the perks of working for a movie theater is that I get to see free movies each week, so I've decided to watch and review a new movie every week until I have a nervous breakdown due to the deadlines. <laughs> Why did I think this was a good idea? I'm so stupid! I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, that's a great idea. I wish I could be involved. Well, you can, because you get to vote for what movie I watch and review next. And that, in a nutshell, is The Projectionist Project. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's still going on. Right. They're just working on the sets. I, I need to go. I'm on the job. Yeah, we're, we're still on for next week. Poker, right. Okay. Toodles! <laughs> ah! Ah! Where the hell was I? In hell. Oh. Why am I back? Because you have unfinished business projection, buddy. Besides, you cast me in this little show thing here. It's gonna be my big break. Can't have you dying on me. And, uh... HQ said you gotta do another of those movie review things. What movie? Jack and Jill? No, no. Take me. Please take me I'm back, sorry. please! Sorry, it's in your contract, buddy. No! Hello? Hey, I have to watch a movie so bad it's going to take the both of us to review it. Jack and Jill. Are you in? That sounds like an okay idea. I'm in. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 no more. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh. He's been doing that nonstop since we left the movie. So I've had to call in a replacement. My twin sister, June. Hi, everybody! And that sums up 60% of the movie. Jack and Jill is a movie about Jack Sandelstein, played by Happy Gilmore. Jack has a wife, Erin, played by Rachel Dawes Sr., who is practically non-existent in this movie, and two kids, Sophia and Gary. It's the holidays, and Jack has to pick someone up from the airport. His annoying twin sister, Jill, played by Billy Madison. She's not annoying. Why would you say she's annoying? She's lovely and funny, and she really makes you think, you know? I really liked her bird. It was a cute bird, and I like how it would repeat things she said, just like a real bird. And it also sounded just like her, so that means we get three Adam Sandlers, and I loved it. Is this review over yet? We should cuddle. That's not weird, right? Yes, it is. Most of the movie is Jill constantly rambling, saying exactly what's happening. I'm feeling sad. I'm opening a door. I'm making a bad movie. I'm slowly destroying the audience's will to live. Anyway, besides Jack having to put up with Jill, most of the plot revolves around Jack trying to get Al Pacino, played by a guy who must be desperate for a paycheck, to be in a Dunkin' Donuts ad. All Al Pacino wants, though, is Jill. All I want is to stop watching this movie. In addition to Al Pacino, this movie was packed with cameos. Garth Algar is a puppeteer, Cusco with Hooters, Terry, Mr. Duval, Grandma's Boy, Little Chubby, That Tennis Guy, Regis with an Upset Stomach, Shaq making a movie worse than any of his other movies, Drew, I Get the Only Funny Line in the Movie, Carrie, and Jack freaking Sparrow. Most of the cast looked embarrassed to be in the movie, even Adam Sandler. At times it felt like the characters themselves were trying to tell the audience how bad the movie was. Like Al Pacino's lines, Burn this. Burn all the footage. No one must see this. The scene with Johnny Depp and Al Pacino was possibly the highlight of the movie, but that was mostly because my brain was just trying to figure out what they were thinking when they agreed to make this. My theory is that Adam Sandler secretly followed all of these celebrities around, filming them, hoping to catch them doing something bad. Remember that hooker you killed? Well, I've got this script. Uh, I say script, but it's actually just a collection of toilet paper I've wiped my ass on, stapled together, and called a script. Hence all the fart jokes. Anyway, want to end your career for me? Ooh, that Johnny Depp sure is cute. I love that Tim Burton movie he was in. Which one? You know, the quirky one. 
Which one? The one with the score by that Boingo guy. That's most of them. Oh, you know, the one with the woman from Fight Club. Helena Bonham Carter? No, the woman from Harry Potter. Helena Bonham Carter. Why do you keep saying that? That's not her. Yes, it is. It's Helena Bonham Carter. No, it's not. It's the woman from the King's Speech. You're driving me cr- Wait, was the movie Alice in Wonderland? That's the one. Yeah, Johnny Depp was cute in that. The movie has this running gag of Jill trying to remember the name of a movie and then people telling her what the name of the movie is and then her denying that that's what the name of the movie is. It happens over and over and over again. Do you know when it stopped being funny? Slightly before the first time they did it. The movie is comprised of unfunny running gags, like the made-up twin language that Jack and Jill speak so that the writers don't actually have to write jokes. They can literally write gobbledygook. Honestly, the entire movie could have been made in this fake language and it wouldn't have changed anything. Actually, it probably would have been better. Poo bloop a doop a doop, not a good taga saga twister sister? I take it back. There's also the running gag of Jack's son Gary randomly taping animals and things to his body. I feel like this needs a joke, but I can't think of one. Neither could the movie. Jill's love interest, the Mexican landscaper Philippe, is himself an unfunny and racist running gag. Here's 80% of his dialogue. Blah blah blah, something about crossing the border. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that does not make that funny. Stop. Josh, how you doing? Why? Why? What happened? What happened, Mister Thanos? Why? So I've been thinking, Adam Sandler had to film most of these scenes twice. Sometimes he had to film himself doing the exact same things twice. And not once did he think, what the hell am I doing? I mean, I really don't know why he thought twins doing the same unfunny thing at the same time would be hilarious. Because, because it's, it's not. not. What, what are, are you? Are, are you? you? Stop. Stop, Stop it. Stop. Stop. This, this isn't, isn't funny. funny. I, don't I don't even know, know how you're doing this. this. I'm, I'm starting, starting to get, get really creeped, creeped out. out. Three. Sixty-nine. Pizza. Ah! Guys, uh, are 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 you? Uh, guess I have to finish the review myself. Jack and Jill is a random collection of unfunny running gags, pointless cameos, blatant racism, and fart jokes. Actual fecal matter is way funnier in this piece of crap movie. Skip it. I have to revive this guy again? Huh, I'll do it later. In the meantime, you can vote for what movie he reviews next. Your choices are Edward Cullen and the Deathly Sparkles Part 1, Dangling Piggies, Cute Penguins, Bad for Business, Cute Kitties, Tower Heist, and That Time I Almost Dreamed Santa. Vote in the sidebar on mintypineapple.com for the one you think Joe should watch next. While you're there, Go ahead and feel free to click that donate button so we can get our web series going again. Okay, thanks, bye.